Hey everybody, it's your girl Naj and I am back with another video and in today's video we are going to be doing a scripture reading for John 15. That's right, y'all knew it was coming so go on and get out your Bibles because we finna read. Okay. <laughs> I've been seeing John 15 like more than once and I actually saw it last week I was watching a YouTube video like it wasn't a Bible study or anything like that but at the end of the video the girl had um John 15 across the screen so I'm like okay let me go on and get the scripture read not for the peoples okay <laughs> so I hope y'all had enough time to go on and get y'all Bibles after my intro so let's go on and get started we're going to read from verses 1 through eight which is entitled the true vine and then we're going to continue verses nine through 17 so let's begin with verse one and again the subtitle is the true vine i am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciples. And now we're going to continue on with verses nine through 17. And the subtitle for this portion is love and joy perfected. As the father loves me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. May the Lord add a blessing to his already blessed word. I thank y'all for tuning in, and I ask that you drop down in the comment section on which verse or verses spoke to you so that we can keep the conversation going. I can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Mm -hmm.